Welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy, Richard. Hey, today we're going to be working on scene linking. Now, we did do a bit on this earlier. Three uh, years ago. That is earlier. And, but... Much. <laughs> much earlier. But uh, we did get a request from... Uh, over on BlenderArtist.org, Phil Hub had a question for me. He saw my old... Uh, our old <laughs> three years ago and uh, asked where is it now so I'm gonna call this scene that we're in right now scene one that's fine with me um, and I'll just keep everything in it because you know it's got a cube and some nice stuff <laughs> like a lamp and a camera. <laughs> it's a nice stuff. Right. So I'm going to create a new scene. I'm going to call this two. Doesn't have nice stuff. <laughs> we'll add some stuff in. Is uh, put it in a sphere and you know cylinder. Why not? Just it's there. Nice stuff. So now let's go over to scene one again. And here is where the new place is. You have to go to the scenes context of the properties window, and it's now called background, and you can select it from that menu there. So there you go. We've got scene two. Now remember, the scene that we just linked to, you can't edit it from scene one. But using a newish feature of Blender, at least new since 2.4 days, we can open up a new window. A duplicate window. Well, actually, first I want to do a Windows left arrow to make it half. And then I'll do duplicate window. And then Windows right arrow. And now I can switch this to scene two. Edit this, and it edits in the other window. So now it's a lot easier to uh, have uh, to modify move things around if you needed to to be able to see both at the same time. Alright, pretty cool. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Hopefully you did. We'll see you next time.